Hey guys, Nick here. So I just wanted to give you a little rundown on something that I've been thinking about lately that I think is pretty important for the health of our sport and the fishing industry. And honestly, nobody's really talking about it. And before I jump too far in, I want to give you a little bit of backstory. So this past weekend, my wife Jordan and I got a babysitter and decided instead of going out somewhere fancy to eat or whatever for date night that we would go out to Mille Lacs Lake and try and catch a walleye before the season closed. We jigged and jigged and jigged and we did not catch a single fish. You know, so I was hoping to maybe post a video about going out and fishing with my wife and having a fun time. And we did have a fun time, um, but we did not catch any fish. And who wants to watch a video where nobody catches any fish, right? I mean, that would be sort of lame and boring probably to watch too. You know, and I think that's, honestly, I think that's where the problem really lies right now is, you know, in today's day and age, we live in the YouTube age and everything's instant gratification, right? So the click of a button, we can go and we can find videos of guys smashing giant walleyes on the Great Lakes or catching 16 inch crappies and way up in Canada, one after another, or drilling double digit bat, largemouth bass on private ponds. So uh, honestly, I think all that stuff is great, um, but where my issue with it is that it's unrealistic. I think it paints an unrealistic picture for people who don't know a lot about fishing, people who are just trying to get into the sport right now. I just think that's a bummer when new people come out and don't know what to expect and strike out because if you're new to fishing you are going to strike out a lot that's just the reality of it right one thing i would just really like to see is more transparency about you know what's actually happening on the ice you know you pull up a youtube video and you know people are like oh we're gonna go and we're gonna check out this new lake and they the, the next clip you see is setting the hook I just don't think that that really paints a realistic picture because honestly most of the time you go out in the water and especially if you've never been there before it takes a while to figure out what's going on right so you have to try new things different spots different areas are they up are they down etc and usually it takes a little bit to run into the fish and when you're not showing the struggle of the day of the hunt you know, you're not painting an accurate picture of what's happening. And so new anglers don't know what to expect. They think you just walk up and start drilling, and that's not the case. The truth is everybody has bad days on the water. Everybody strikes out. Good afternoon. Mm, hi. Have you ever had a bad day on the water? I. I would safely say, have you had some difficult days? Yeah. Yeah, the, anybody that fishes a lot, you, you get on the water, you know, 200 days out of the year or on the ice or something, something you're going to have some challenging days. See, I told you you're not the only one. Absolutely the best thing you can do for a fisherman is help them have a positive experience out in the water. And you can do that by teaching them the real ways of how to catch fish. So one thing that I get super fired up about is when I see people, you know, online or on TV shows, they say they're catching fish a certain way when they really aren't. And you know, whether they're trying to please a sponsor, or they're trying to make themselves look good, you know, that stuff just really makes me upset for lack of a more aggressive word. And to me, if you are gonna be an, a fishing educator or a content maker, you're gonna put out videos, write articles, you need to be straight with people. Because if you're not teaching people how to catch fish, 
they're gonna go out and they're gonna have a bad experience out on the water and they're not gonna fish again and that's your fault. It's your fault. So we were over at the same Paul Ice show this last year shooting some tips with various ice pros from around the region and one of the questions that I asked a lot of those guys was what is uh, what are some bad advice that you hear out on the ice or in fishing in general and one of my favorite responses was from Jason Mitchell and he was talking about a lot of what I've been talking about the last few minutes so I'm just gonna put that clip on right now it always bothers me whenever I see a lack of integrity you know I mean you know if we don't catch a fish we don't have a show you don't even want to know how many days that I've spent out on the ice where we didn't get a show It'd be pretty boring to watch but um, you know when people fake stuff they're hauling up a dead fish and the water's dripping off of it, slow motion lift and the fish is just limp and dead and you know, they pull it out of a cooler somewhere and it just, you know, I, I'm so sick of this lame fake hook set, dead limp fish. You know what, let that fish growl at you, the fins pop up and you know, if you're, if you're a good enough fisherman to be a professional fisherman or whatever, you know, go catch your fish on the lure you're saying you're catching on and have some integrity and there's things that lack integrity you know so sometimes they see just stupid stuff where like a like a spooler reel a, a flyer type reel you know phenomenal tool at times for really tough bluegills where you have to just hang that jig and it, you can manage your line for longer periods of time you're still going to get twist built up in it but you know don't hold up a five eight pound walleye that somebody else caught and pretend that this is the tool to use you know sometimes you watch some of this stuff and at the end of the day people become a worse fisherman you know and you know, there's just a lot of kind of some crud to filter through, I guess, and you know, just you know, get back to some integrity. You know, I think that's there's a whole you know the people in the in the fishing industry that have that are really successful, and for whatever reason, it's amazing how many people haven't figured that out. So I guess I'd like to wrap this video up with two final points, and the first point is for people who create fishing content, whether it's videos, articles, television shows, etc., and my plea for you is to please be honest and transparent about what works, what you're doing, how you're catching fish, and honestly teach the people that are watching you how to catch more fish because it's extremely important for the health of our sport that new anglers are going out and having success in the water and getting hooked on fishing. The second and final note that I wanna leave you guys with and this is specifically for new anglers, is the title of this video, The Truth About Fishing. And the truth is, nobody goes out and cracks them every time. And it's not always easy, and it won't be easy, especially if you're new to this sport. But the key is getting out on the water a lot and getting experience. The more experience you have, the better you'll be able to catch them. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I will catch you later.